Today is February 7th, 2024. This is Englostic, host of the updates, bringing you your daily Water and Waves update. Kuro finally released a trailer today for Jianxing, the fist fighter who was about Tai Chi and redirecting the flow of combat. Her name actually means literally reflection of heart, and Kuro mentioned specifically in one of their earlier promos, she comes from a Taoist sect from the mountain. Taoism rests on the concept of a harmony between nature and society. Two opposing forces, yin and yang, they oppose each other but at the same time complement each other. If you try too hard to fulfill one desire, the law of nature would start to operate and the effect would be the opposite of what was desired. This is called the law of reversed effort. Harder you try, harder you fall. Taoism is also really big on the harmony of nature, which is why you see depictions of mountains and skies. They are also really big in the tradition, which is why the calligraphy style. This focus on tradition translates to a lifestyle of simplicity, the austere. When Tianxin came down from the mountains, she refrains from engaging with society. She doesn't bother with raising her own status, getting a really important job or earning some easy money. You find her working F&B in a tea house as a grunt worker. She is here willingly because she thinks that this is practice, meditation. To keep a simple lifestyle of hard work and diligence, she believes that she will be rewarded. It is the other side of the law of reversed effort, harder you grind, higher you rise. It's a delicate balance, and the exercise is not in reaching the peak of diligence, but maintaining it. Right here during her alt, she says something special. Qi literally just means breath, or air, or gas. It is the force that sets the world into motion, and also the force that sustains all things in it once they are created. Some people call it qi instead, but it's the same thing, just phonetically more similar to the original word or character. Qi. All that earlier about yin and yang, law of reversed effort, they all have their own qi as well. And the idea is to establish that everything is connected, everything that you do gives out qi, and however you give it out, it will all come back to you one day. It's a cycle, again, of yin and yang. Also, having free-flowing qi is considered a very healthy thing for your body, while stagnant qi is very bad for you. That just means it's better for you to be interacting regularly with people and nature and that sort of thing. The story of her completing all these impossible tasks from the snobbish tea guy, he's not even a Brit, why is he such a snob? Definitely reminds me of a fable from Chinese tales. From Wouldn't You Know It, a Taoist text. The story is called, The Foolish Old Man Removes the Mountains. The story concerns a foolish old man of 90 years old who lived near a pair of mountains. He was annoyed by the obstruction caused by the mountains and sought to dig through them with hoes and baskets. It's a big pair of mountains and he's 90 years old, he's barely getting anything done, even in a year. When questioned as to the seemingly impossible nature of his task, the foolish old man replied that he may not finish his task in his lifetime, but through the hard work of himself, his children, and their children, and on and on through the many generations, someday the mountains will be removed. But it's gotta start with him. He has to persevere to set his boys up. And so the gods in heaven, I forgot to mention, were so impressed with his perseverance, they ordered the mountains to separate itself. Like, like you should separate yourself now. All right, that was the punchline. Pack it up, pack it up. That has been your Wuthering Waves update.